Hey guys, it's Marissa. So today is a very special video because it's been officially three years on YouTube for me. And also at the same time, well, about like a month ago, I also hit 1000 subscribers. So I just want to thank you guys so much by just creating this video because I'm also going to be including a giveaway. But um, yeah, so I've been looking forward to hitting a thousand subscribers for the longest time now, like ever since I was way back in high school. And it was always just like a really huge goal for me. And I just want to continue to just grow on this platform along with other platforms as well, just so I can just kind of spread positivity and just kind of give people a laugh whenever they just are having a tough day or just going through a rough time in their life. And yeah, I just want to create like a small supportive community where people just reach out to each other and also just support each other with whatever they're doing and whatever kind of passion that they're pursuing. What I'm doing for today's video in celebration for both of those huge milestones is I actually created my own YouTube play button and I also recorded on how I did it in case one of you guys back at home want to do it, even if you have like 50 subscribers or 500 or even none at all and if you just want to do it just for fun I did create a little DIY video that's going to be in with this video as well as just like the typical anniversary video where I just create a green eye look and that's just because the very first video that I've ever done on YouTube was just a palm tree green makeup tutorial so I wanted to just keep doing it that way just because that's what literally got me started on here as a beauty guru but also I've been thinking and I kind of want to expand my platform on YouTube as well with other things. I'm not too sure exactly what yet, but I'm thinking about doing a podcast with one of my friends. So I'll probably be talking about it a little bit more on here whenever it becomes closer and when we actually film some stuff. And I might be doing some other things as well, maybe other DIYs and stuff. I'm not too sure. I still want to do the makeup looks, but maybe not as often just to kind of give myself a break and to just reach out to a bigger audience. Yeah, first I'm just gonna go ahead and just jump right into this DIY on how I did this. I will also have timestamps in the video, so if you're not interested in this but you're interested in the eye look or the giveaway, I will have that like linked all in the description. But first off is the YouTube play button. <laughs> All right, so first I got a clear picture frame. It says out of office, which the reason why I got this one was because it was one of the only square picture frames I could find. And I got this from the dollar store. Obviously I was scraping it off. So I used a little bit of rubbing alcohol and it wasn't working, but what I found out, which did take a little bit of time, but it did work. And it was just taking an X-Acto knife and literally just scratching it off, like literally scratching off the paint, which is what I did. And, um, it was not a very enjoyable sound, let me just say that, but it did turn out really nice, like there wasn't any scratches on it or anything like that. Then I just used rubbing alcohol again just to wipe everything down, and I'm actually recycling some things and using the back of a sketch pad that I have just for the cardboard and some extra like glitter paper that I have that I never have used. And basically I'm just putting down how much like the measurements are compared to the frame that I have and I'm just like drawing out a rectangle for the YouTube symbol. I also repeat these steps for the same thing with the triangle on the YouTube symbol and I just cut it out and I'm just going to be repeating those same steps for the actual paper. Um, so I just use that glitter paper for the rectangle and I also use the glitter paper again for the triangle. But the reason why I just did that is so I could just flip it over for white just because at the time I didn't have any kind of cardstock paper that was white so that was the closest thing to it and I just went ahead and wrote down like the sizes and everything just so if you guys want to recreate it at home you can and just so this kind of matches in with the pink glitter paper I just took the sides of that triangular cardstock or the triangular cardboard and just using pink sharpie i just colored the edges of it just so it can blend in a lot better and then i'm just hot gluing that white piece to the cardboard and same thing with the pink side and then afterwards i'm just placing it where i'd like it to on the frame and just hot gluing it on there as well Then instead of eyeballing it, what I took was just any sheet of paper and I just wrote down like my name and just like for passing a thousand subscribers and then the YouTube logo. And I just wrote it down on there. I didn't do it like super perfect, but just to give myself an idea of the placement and then I just used a 
paint pen on top of it and then I just filled in the logo with some white acrylic paint and then that was about it. Okay, so the look that I'm going for is a green eyeshadow look, which I've done for every single year now for my one year milestone on YouTube. So I'm just going to go ahead and try to create something green, but a little bit different than each time that I've done it. And there's this one post that I saw on Instagram by, I think it's pronounced Dariana or Dariana. Um, I'll just link the post of what I saw from her and her eye look is so pretty. It's like this shimmery green colored eyeshadow with like this really pretty green highlight. I don't know if I'm going to add the green highlight, but I definitely want to try to recreate her eye look. So I'm just going to go ahead right now and just start that off. I already have a little bit of concealer, bronzer, and blush on, but that's about it. And a little bit of mascara just because I had work earlier today. But I'm just going to mainly focus on the eye look because I want to also save some time in this video to disclose like the giveaway and stuff and the DIY of how I made that play button. So yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and really quickly just create this eye look. Now typically, I'm just going to go ahead over my eyelids because sometimes I get like really bad eczema around here in my eyes and I don't want that to show up. So I'm just kind of putting some moisture back in it with a makeup wipe. So yeah, like how I was saying, um, typically I just start with like the eyeshadow and stuff, which I'm going to be doing, but usually I leave the eyeliner last. And I think this time I'm going to start it off first just because... Like, I can tell that she kind of overlaid some shimmery shadows over on top of the eyeliner that she used. But I could tell it was like a brown eyeliner. It's kind of confusing the way that I'm wording it. But hopefully it makes more sense when I'm actually doing it. So I'm actually going to take the Burn Book, which I have not used in a hot minute. But I'm just going to go ahead and take this Mean Girls Makeup Palette. And this is by... Where is it? 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 I'm actually not too sure who it's by. It doesn't even say. So I'll just put like text somewhere of like what brand it is. Um, but I'm just going to go ahead and take the Glen Coco shade right here. And using a e.l.f. concealer brush, I'm just going to go ahead and create my eyeliner like so. Just so it's soft and kind of a little bit more natural. I'm probably going to darken it a little bit more too like hers. Because now that I'm applying it, it looks a little bit more warm toned. And I kind of want it to be a little bit more cooler toned like hers. Okay, so now I'm going to darken it a little bit using the Lisa Frank Morphe palette, which is the 35B. And um, I would show you guys a little bit better, but the green shade literally broke to pieces. And I don't want to shatter it even more. So I'm just taking the shade Hollywood Bear and just kind of um, darkening over on top of that. And this is also kind of a more shimmery shade. But you can't really tell by much, but I feel like that will help blend in with the rest of the shimmers and then I'm just gonna go ahead and clean up any kind of fallout just so that green shade that I add underneath it doesn't smudge anything and it doesn't make it look as muddy which I just kind of made it more muddy right now but I'll fix that in a second okay so for the green shimmery shade on her eyelid I really don't know which one to use because I have a few different options the first option is the Zulu by Juvia's Place and I was thinking about adding that shimmery green shade right there or taking like the shimmery green shade from that Lisa Frank palette or on top of that this gruel shade right there from the burn book. Just looked at it a second time and it's more of like yellow here and like a brighter green here so I think what I'm going to do is use that gruel shade from the burn book and then also the shade on the inner corner where that brighter green is from the Juvia's Place palette. So I'm just going to go ahead. These shadows, like the shimmery shadows, are almost like creamy. So I really don't think I, I need much of a base or anything. So I'm just going to go ahead and literally just start placing it on my eyelid like so. But I want to leave some space right there for that brighter green color. And I'm just going to add back maybe like just a dash of black which I'm going to use the October 3rd shade from the Mean Girls palette just to kind of bring back a little bit of that eyeliner wing that might have been like a little bit faded away and I'm mainly just using my fingers to blend this out because I don't want to say it's a messy look but it's also like 
not super perfect like it's not um precise in anything she kind of just has it in certain spots or at least in the picture that's what it looks like all right so now i'm gonna add that green shade i'm kind of scared to add this shade because it's so bright i'm just gonna lightly tap it yeah that looks really pretty it definitely brightens up the eye look a whole lot more now i really don't have a darker shimmery green shade so what i'm going to do is kind of mix them together and i'm first going to take the shade saturn sunday from that lisa frank palette and because it's all over her under um, her lower lash line i'm just going to go ahead and replicate that and i'm just applying this using an elf precision brush and then i'm just going to overlay that uh, juvia's place palette in that shimmery green shade and just kind of apply it on top and I'm also just kind of connecting them together. And then for lashes, I'm just going to go ahead and use a pair of the Ardell Wispy Lashes. And this is the original Feathered Lash. And to apply them, I'm just going to go ahead and use the Shot Miss AOA Studio Lash Glue. And I'll just be right back. Alright, so now I'm back with the lashes. And I just kind of took a wet washcloth and just kind of cleaned up the edges around here. And I'm just going to go back with some concealer. So I'm just going to be using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and uh, my cat behind me is going to be looking out the window which is right behind you guys so just ignore her. Huh? Just ignore her. Anyway, I'm just going to be tapping this under my eyes. I'm also just going to blend it in a tiny bit into the green just so it looks a little bit more buffed out and like just a little bit more soft and not as hard of an edge if that makes sense and i'm just gonna reapply any blush or bronzer that might have just kind of rubbed off by now and then now i think the lashes are mostly dry so i'm gonna go ahead and use the lash princess by essence and this is in the shade black and i'm just gonna blend this in to the fake lashes and i'm just gonna top it off with a nude lip so i'm just gonna go ahead and use the morphe lip liner in the shade forecast and just like lightly line my lips and then i'm just going to blend everything together using the fenty beauty lip gloss in the shade taffy tees and then i'm just going to be applying the anastasia beverly hills loose highlighter in the shade so hollywood off camera and then i'll be right back all right, so next is the giveaway and before i even get into what everything is there are a few rules of how to enter into the giveaway so first off you have to comment a palm tree under this video just because of the very first video that i've ever made comment a palm tree and just put in your instagram username and also your tiktok username so then i know if you follow me or not make sure to have those accounts set to public including your YouTube account, just so I know that you're actually subscribed and everything, because I don't want people lying and saying that they have, or just forfeiting because of that, and I really don't know. So just follow my beauty account, which is marissa.beauty, and as well as my TikTok account, and also subscribe to this channel so you can be entered into the giveaway. Um, so that's just one entry, but if you want multiple entries, for one additional entry, you can hit the notification bell on this channel so you can be notified for every single time I upload. And the second way you can have an additional entry is by liking five of my TikToks on my TikTok channel. And um, just like show a screenshot either over Instagram or I'll just know just by getting those notifications. Just let me know what the username is for TikTok and Instagram down below and just say giveaway with the palm tree. Just so I know that you're entered in the giveaway. You also have to be 18 or older, but if you are under 18, just make sure you have parents consent or parents permission before doing it. And um, yeah, that's basically it. It's pretty simple. But um, I just have like a small little goodie bag of what the little giveaway is. And first off, it's just a little makeup bag that says you're like really pretty, which I think was kind of cute. So I'm just putting everything in this bag that comes along with just like a little notebook. I don't know, just like cute little knickknacks that kind of went along with the color scheme because I tried to make it match with some things. But you can always use this for like journaling down your ideas or even if you are a small YouTuber yourself. You could also just like write down different video ideas or maybe like you're in summer school or something. Maybe this could just come in handy for that. Then also I got a little manicure kit and it kind of just matches like this notebook. 
which I thought was kind of cute, but it comes with like little cuticle scissors and uh, let's see, like clippers and just basically stuff like that. And also a cuticle pusher and a nail file. So I think that's pretty cool. And I actually use one of these myself. Like I actually use these scissors all the time to trim my brows, even though it says it's a cuticle scissors, but that's what I use it for myself. So next is the Swedish Fish, which I feel like is a lot of people's favorites. And I think I actually got this for a previous giveaway video. I don't know if it was for my second year anniversary on YouTube, but I'm pretty sure I got this before. So I wanted to get it again because a lot of you guys really liked it. And then the last things are these false lashes, which is the Ioni. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but it's the Natural Light Wispy Lashes. And they're fake mink lashes, so which is also really nice. And then lastly is just some hair bands, just so you can, you know, just have some extra ponytails. Because for me personally, like, I'm always losing my ponytails. I don't know where they end up, but they, like, within like a month, half of them are gone. And yeah, so basically that's everything in the little goodie bag. And just make sure to follow those rules that I said in the beginning of this clip. And thank you guys again so much for just absolutely everything. I really appreciate it and all of like the positive support that you guys give me in all of my videos. So one last thing, the deadline for this will be Wednesday, July 13th. As soon as it hits midnight on that day, that's when the giveaway is over and I will make a video like how it's going to be done, which I'm just going to be using some sort of like random generator and putting people's names to numbers because that's how I did it the past two times and it worked really nice that way. And I'm just going to do it again. So I'm just going to record myself using that generator and then just go ahead and announce the giveaway winner on Wednesday, July 13th, probably around 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, but it will be uploaded sometime that day. But yeah, thank you guys so much again, and I'll just see you guys in the next video. And also good luck to anyone who is participating. And I definitely plan to do more videos like this in the future and more giveaways as well, because I want to say this is my third or fourth giveaway, and it's really fun doing this for you guys. So I really enjoy doing it, and I hope you guys do as well. But I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!